look at what we have here. Check out this dinosaur of technology on its way to extinction. Or is it? This is my Panasonic camcorder. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. It's this camcorder. Not so much whether or not it's going extinct or it's dead, blah, blah, blah. But I just wanna tell you how I use this thing. And I wanna show you some footage. Uh, I think I've had this for about three years, right? Cause you don't see too many of these anymore. A lot of people have mirrorless cameras or their cell phones, but there are certain things that you can achieve with a camcorder that's really hard to do with a mirrorless camera. First of all, I'm just gonna open this. And it has a lens cover built right in there. So it covers the lens, that's really nice. But one of the main things, and I'm gonna show some video as I'm reviewing this camera so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, the zoom. Being able to zoom really, really far without having to swap a lens or be limited to the lens that's on your camera phone that really can't zoom, or sometimes camera phones have three lenses or whatever, but none of them are gonna zoom like a camcorder. It just, it's not gonna happen. So having really good zoom, having really good image stabilization built into the camera so that you're not getting those crazy shaky shots is something that's really, really cool. This kind of camera too uses SD cards. You kind of see it right there, it goes in there. Even has connections for HDMI on there and then for USB so you can transfer your files. But the nice thing about a camcorder also, it's really easy to use. Sometimes a mirrorless camera can get a little confusing because there's a lot of features on there, a lot of settings. And by the way, this, this little lens uh, hood can come off. You just go like this and the whole thing comes off. Another cool thing about a camcorder, a lot of these come with microphone ports. So you could get an external microphone in there to get better audio. So maybe you're using this for vacations and things like I use it for mostly, but maybe you're also getting it to do some like kind of small documentaries and stuff. Maybe some things for your social media um, and you need a camcorder, you need to interview people, you got a microphone port. But better than the microphone port, you have a headphone out so you can actually monitor your audio as well uh, to make sure that you're getting good crispy audio. It also has a 4K photo mode so you could take 4K pictures with it as well. Um, you can also shoot 4K video with it too, which I pretty much do all the time. That right there is a light. It actually comes with a light. This is the 991 model. The 991 model comes with this like camera that you turn and once you turn it to yourself, you'll see like at the bottom of the screen, it puts like another screen there. So this is gonna be you in this box and then whatever you're shooting. So these are your modes here. You got Intelligent Auto, Intelligent Auto Plus. Those are the ones I use mostly. Um, this is manual for manual focus, so you can switch to manual auto. Um, so that's what that does. Um, and then you got the 4K photo mode, HDR. A lot of times I keep it in Intelligent Auto. I like this mode because I can change the exposure comp myself. I can make it brighter or a little dimmer. And then I could change the colors to be a little bit more red or blue. So let's talk about the differences between the WXF991 and the VX981. Because the VX981 is a little bit cheaper. Pretty much the same camera, except this one has on the LCD here, this little camera. Also, it has the viewfinder. So you can use the LCD or you can use a viewfinder. And lastly, Actually, there's two more things. Um, then it has this cold shoe mount at the top. So right here. And then you also have a button where you can quickly toggle between video, 4K photo, and photo mode. So this is how I'm using this camcorder. I'm mostly using it for family functions uh, and things like that. If you're solely shooting video, you don't need a lot of extra features you need something that's gonna give you clean images, be very easy to use, not a lot of fuss. 
I mean, camcorders are still great for that, especially this one. And how many of you are still using camcorders like this? Which one are you using and like, how are you using it? Go ahead and put that in the comments down below. Anything that I talk about in these videos is always down in the description below. So if you wanna see the most current pricing on this camcorder, go check it out. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a like. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos about cameras and specifically camcorders because in the next one, we'll be talking about this camcorder. This is the CX405 made by Sony, which is a little less money than the Panasonic that was in this video.